Hi again, everyone. I'm Mike Lucas from UWBadgers.com. I'm joined by women's hockey coach Mark Johnson. Mark, you've had plenty of experience defending championships. What are some of the keys that go into that next season following winning a title? Well, I think the first step is, is the message you send the kids uh, for the summer break away with. And we've always talked about uh, making sure that they prepare themselves. Certainly want to enjoy the championship over the course of the summer, but more importantly, you know, when they have to work out, they need to go work out. And so my story is going to be told in September when we bring them back to campus, we test them the first couple of days, and that's going to paint a picture of were they serious about it or not. Where do you see the biggest carryover from winning a national championship that following year? Well, I think, uh, you know, human nature just, uh, and I've won a couple different championships at different levels. When you get done, it's hard, it's difficult, but yet it's rewarding and, and usually relax. And so you take a period of time and relax and, uh, you know, you watch the Stanley Cup as it goes to different cities and, and players host it. Uh, they're having a good time. But, uh, you know, training camp comes around uh, in a short period of time and the players have to prepare themselves to get ready for the following year because irrelevant of what you did the past year, whether you had a great season or won a championship, you still got to do the things necessary to prepare for the upcoming season. Have you already identified your team leaders? Oh, I think you can identify them uh, quite quickly, you know, uh, and that's part of, uh, you know, what, uh, what goes on in the summer, you know, what kids push themselves, what kids come back in maybe a little bit better shape than they had in the previous season. And then as you start camp and you do activities together, uh, they start to, uh, sort of like cream coming to the top. They start to separate themselves. Any surprises from year to year? And what do you most uh, look forward to when you get that team together for the first time and you begin practicing? Well, I think uh, it, it's sort of the stage in, in, in the season that uh, I think all coaches, all players really enjoy because everybody's had a good summer. Everybody's uh, expectations have been met. Uh, everybody's worked out. Everybody's probably gotten a little bit better. Everybody's excited to come back to campus, start the new school year. So everybody's generally in a pretty good mood. And so uh, what ends up happening, though, is you start playing games and then people start getting uh, filtered into roles within your team and, and sort, of, sort of attitudes start to change a little bit and you sort of go in this great uh, fr phase and into a storming phase uh, that uh, presents challenges for everybody, not only the players but certainly the coaching staff because I think one of the things we were successful with last year was that chemistry we had. And so right now everybody's in a good mood, everybody's excited, we haven't played a game, and so everybody's uh, expectations is right on par. And, and so once we play the games this upcoming weekend, uh, then things will change a little bit the following week. You talked some about roles maybe changing. Hillary Knight, how has her role changed <laughs> if it has? Well, I think this year her role's changed as now just she's gonna be wearing the C. And so I think anytime you put a captain on somebody's jersey, uh, you know, their role changes a little bit because they're sort of the, everybody's eye the leader and so I think uh, you know Hillary's certainly in a position uh, she's been mentored by a lot of wonderful people not only Megan Duggan the last several years but I think Jenny Potter was one of our leaders on our Olympic team in Vancouver and so uh, she's prepared she's ready and I think she's gonna have a great season being our captain. Megan Duggan's gonna still be on campus for the first semester helping you a little bit right is that is that good in terms of the segue from last year to this year that she'll still be around to, to answer some questions? I think it's real good. Uh, you know, Megan knows how to separate herself from this year's team compared to what we had last year, and so she knows when to step in and when to step out, and uh, I think she can uh, certainly help Hillary as the season goes along, but uh, obviously on the ice we're going to miss Megan, but I think the things that the team learned about Megan last year and how she led us uh, to the championship is still around, and, and Hillary's uh, very, very similar to Megan and I think is going to do an outstanding job carrying that torch. Do you have to talk about expectations? Do you have to talk about pressure? <laughs> I don't talk about it a lot. I just uh, try to look at one game and, and try to prepare the team for that one game because that's the most important one. Uh, I think sometimes as athletes or even as coaches, we start looking ahead of ourselves and I think that's when you get in yourself into trouble. So there's probably four or five areas every game you play and I don't care if it's basketball or it's football or it's ice hockey as what we deal in is that you have to do certain things if you're going to give yourself the best chance to win and if you do those things uh, you know then the coaching staff's probably going to be pretty happy at the end of the game even though the results may not be in your favor uh, because if you're consistent in those things you're going to have a successful season. Well, what is your message to this this group before the start of the year? Well, my big message right now is just uh, you know put on your learning caps uh, you know, put a smile on your face and come ready to, to, to practice and work. And, you know, we're going to have fun as we go through this. One, it's not easy to get into hockey shape, and so there's going to be some challenges that they're going to have to make. And 
they're going to have to push themselves through to get in good fiscal shape, but that's part of the process. And uh, the nice thing about our schedule is you don't have a lot of practices, so you get into games right away. You get into tests, and so every time we play a game is like taking a test, and we find a little bit more about our team, our individuals, and so when we have pressure games or we have pressure situations, now you find out about those individuals. What do you like the most? Game days, <laughs> when you're on the bench making moves, the strategy? What do you like just being a teacher during the week? I think the enjoyment, and I'm, I'm sure Jackie's the same way, and Dan, uh, my two assistant coaches, is the best part of our day is when we go out to practice. The games, yeah, they're fun, but uh, the reward is getting a chance to spend an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes on the ice working with the players. And as you go through the process of the season and uh, you get into, you know, Halloween, you get into Thanksgiving, you see improvement individually and you see improvements within the team, those are the things that you walk away and make yourself feel good. You know, the wins are going to come, uh, you're going to lose games along the way, that's part of our industry and our business, but the everyday interaction, uh, engagement with our athletes, uh, getting an opportunity to make them better people and better players, that's the fun part of our business. You talk about winning a national championship this early in the year? <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, I didn't mention it last year, the whole year, I don't think, until we were hoisting the trophy in Erie, and, uh, you know, my path and my mannerisms and my uh, message will be You're very similar. You're not going to change, are you? No, I'm not going to change, uh, uh, because, uh, you know, I think it's been successful this way, and I think the players, uh, you know, really feed off it. Obviously, the expectations are high. Uh, you know, we demand a lot of our players, but I think if, if we create this atmosphere where it's fun to come to the rink, you know, coaches laughing today, coaches smiling today, coaches real excited about practice today. And if you can do that uh, more so than the other hat, uh, I think the players, especially our female players here at Wisconsin, respond very well to that. You're not going to tip your hand because I know you get excited about every team, but are you a little bit more excited about this team coming back? <laughs> I think, uh, you know, you look at the team and you look at the puzzle and it's, it's all scattered right now, but the pieces that go into a successful team and a team that has a chance to be good are right here. I mean, obviously, we bring back experienced goaltenders. We have kids on the blue line that uh, have had quite a bit of experience. Uh, uh, and, and then we look up front, and, and who's going to score goals for it? Well, we've had some kids that can score some goals. So those three areas are crucial to a successful team, and the pieces are there. And now it's just a matter of you know rolling up your sleeves, going to work on day one, and, and getting yourselves ready for game one. And everything will fall into place again <laughs> this year if? Uh, you know, I think if everybody pays attention to detail, everybody goes about their business uh, in a professional manner as far as coming to that rink every day and doing the things that we ask them to do, and then knock on wood, you stay healthy. Good luck this year, Mark. Thanks, Mike. For Mark Johnson, I'm Mike Lucas for UWBadgers.com. Thanks for watching.